Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to an exclusive audio commentary from WarcraftReplays.com. I'd advise that you get the replay started at the 15 second mark at the 1x speed, so we can get this started. As you can see, the players are me and Boney CF versus LK69 and <laughs> Huck you. Yeah, and uh, as you could have clearly seen between the time that uh, that it gets to the 15 second mark, uh, this is going to be a funny match. Uh, they're probably the, uh, well, at least LK69 that I know of, the worst mannered players on Battle.net, and this is crazy. Me and Boney CF were on a voice chat, uh, while this was going on, and while it was loading, we saw this, and we were like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. So, um, this is more of, like, a entertaining match, for that matter, um, and I also have some updates from World Cyber Games that, uh, that I was just talking to Gentho on Instant Messenger. He's in uh, Korea. It's probably 3 a.m. from where he's talking from. So, uh, like I said, pause at the 15 second mark at the 1x speed. I have a few shout outs. Actually, I have about 20 of them. Um, I know what you're thinking right now. Oh, crap, this is going to take forever. I'm just going to do two or three right now, and I'm just going to hold the rest off to the end. Uh. I'll just give you a few out right now. Kronos has got a shout out. He says greetings from Denmark. Shout out to the Danish listeners out there. Oh, okay. He asked who my favorite comedian is. Wow. Uh, it's a tie between, um, probably a tie between either Dane Cook, Chris Farley, or Adam Sandler. Pause at the 15 second mark at the 1x speed. We're about to get this started. And you're gonna get a good laugh out of this. Just the just the way that they talk during the match, uh, it can it can annoy anyone really. Uh, <laughs> just their horrible horrible manners. It it's it's funny really, but you'll see. <laughs> just get on pause in three seconds. Three, two, one, unpause. And I think this is the part... Yeah, <laughs> Boney CF was like, Alright, I'm gonna bad manner them back. So he's doing it too. Look at all the messages that came by. Dude, check it out. They keep pausing it. They paused it just to, uh... Bad manner. So I decided to kick in and, uh... Make fun of the whole situation with some sarcastic remark that makes no sense at all. Uh... He said, Your math skills are inadequate. <laughs> I am such a dork. But, uh... Yeah, I, I claimed to be atheist on this, and just to see what Light Knight says, he, he says I'm probably a goth. But by the way, sorry for the bad language on this one, but, uh, yeah, with Light Knight, it's kind of implied. But, uh, <laughs> Huggy is saying, uh, to commentate on this, so I guess I'm, I guess I'm commentating on it now. Getting the Warden as my hero. Uh, that's for Boney, he's a little late into the Altar of Darkness's build order. Goes a little late onto that. Saying that LK is probably white trash, because he's the ra most racist person, and I hate people who are racist. Ugh. <laughs> this is funny. Hell, I can just commentate the vocab- the, like, the, the script of this thing. Uh Anyways, taking a look at uh, Huck's base, he's also a little late into the Altar of Darkness. I'm not really familiar with Undead builds, but it seems a lot of them are kind of late with that. Um, okay, he's getting the Farseer as his first hero. Now, the strategy on this is um, mainly just to put the pressure on the opponent so much as to where they can't get a definite attack onto the guy's base. Uh, I noticed it throughout this whole entire thing. Uh, he, they, they just run into the base, do as much damage as they can. Once we come to, you know, disrupt that, they're out of there. They, you know, portal out of the way, so. <sighs> so I'm running into Huck's base right now. Trying to get some shots on the Acolytes right here. I noticed the three ghouls over there and how he's going to try to get a surround going on. So he gets his acolyte out there. I definitely don't want to get into a position to get surrounded. I noticed the Nerubian Tower. So, really, really, uh, kind of puts me back a bit, so. 
I'm just kind of scouting around. I just kind of uh, get the view to where I can see his hero really quick. I don't, I don't really think that I get the view on that, though. Picks of scarabs as his first things. Checking out Elko right now. He's uh, kind of in cahoots with Boney right now. Huck says he's going to commentate on this. Apparently, well, well at least they're a listener of the commentaries. I, I, I guess that's something I can be proud of. <laughs> Anyways, going to get some creeps down there. The Ogre Warriors. Good thing the creep for the time being. Got the hero armor to reduce damage from those troll berserkers. So, it's all good. That I watch the replays 24/7. He said he said that so many times right now. It's, I, I'm I'm checking out what they're saying really quick because this is amusing. The bony taking great pleasure in uh, attacking LK as he's in the middle of creeping. So he got a good creep jack into there. Took out a grunt in the process. Couldn't quite get the items yet. Got a boot of speed for LK. LK is also known as Light Knight 69, by the way, if I uh, failed to mention that before. So for those on the loader on ladder, you definitely know this guy. And... Yeah, when I, I think LK's, uh, LK's thing, when you're winning, he says that you have no life, but if, you, but if he's winning, then you're a noob. So I guess all in all, either way, I guess he wins. <laughs> That'd be the phone ringing. Um, so, Boney's actually in trouble. Death Knight was forced to get out of the way. Just as he was about to get there, uh, Light Knight paused the game. Just, uh, bad manner him. I, I, I know that he, uh, whenever, oh gosh, whenever he, um, whenever a hero's about to die, he pauses it and just bad mouths him all the way. It's freaking crazy. Uh, I'm kind of caught in a position I don't want to get stuck in because I do realize it is close to the orcs base. Really don't want to uh, get trapped for a 2 versus 1. So I try to do some damage until I see the orc guy coming along there. I see him so I'm just going to get out of there and avoid avoid a beatdown on the huntresses. As for Boney right now, he's just chilling out at the Fountain of Health trying to heal up his Death Knight as much as he can. So we both know that they're grouping over there, and I'm telling Boney right now that they might be trying to creep that area, they might not. And so, I'm just going to kind of uh, get close there, but he notices I am I'm, I am close by there, so they're not going to kill those creeps quite yet, so I'm going to entice them. I attack the creep and run... So I just get the creeps pissed off, brings the crypt fiends into a back line, and I can uh, sweep him from behind. So if he wants to worry about taking out my huntresses, I'm in a very good position at the moment. And I, I keep a close eye onto that troll warlord. Because he's the one with the magic item. He's got the big thing. And so I really... Uh, Got it good right here. We got the creeps really pissed off at them. So Huck's forced to teleport out of the way. I think Boney says... He, yeah, I, I say uh, TP just uh, poke at LK just a bit. And so uh, that brings the Troll Warlord out there. So he's open to some good attacks. I can pick up a nice item. It's well needed. Hood of Cunning. Yeah, that's pretty good. Intelligence, Agility Boost... It's pretty good for a warden. Actually, very good. The better one would be for strength and agility, however. Making the warden a much better frontline unit. Not much better, but, you know, it'll help. We decided to take a, uh, a few hits at the orc right now. Uh, for that he's getting a few demolishers. I see that, and... Kind of put off by that. Uh, LK's healing grunts seem like a target for me, so I attack some of the grunts, and I... Uh, kind of depend on the glaive to bounce off that and hit the healing one. We take out one of the grunts, but we do not want to get caught up into that. He does have a burrow filled up, and he does have a very nice defense right there with the demolishers. My huntresses really, really, really wouldn't uh, last that long. 
So they're angry that uh, 